part five of my log arch trailer. I'm going to show you how I made this swivel hoist for the truck tying the trailer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. So to start the swivel hoist, I had this old axle hub I got from the scrap yard. I took it apart, cleaned out the bearings, and re-greased everything. And then I cut out the half inch steel plate, welded it underneath to the axle tube. That way I have a plate to lock it down. I just put one hole in there so I can line up and uh, lock that down. And then I'm going to slide that axle tube into the square tube, just 4x4. Four four. I'm going to weld it down here on the center of the tongue. And then I'm going to put some half inch plate across the top and add some gussets to it. So that's where I'm at to start. I got the bottom tube welded on. As you can see there's a weld bead on the inside of this tubing. And I had a notch just a little bit with a grinder inside that axle tube just to clear a path, a little channel for that weld to get that down in there. And I had to pound it in just a little bit. So I got that welded all the way around. And I will start working on the top. So to get these circles laid out, I just measured, I want an eight inch circle. So I measured eight inches square. And now I'll just find the center point. So that's my center point. And then I'll just do the radius with this big compass. Set that to go to the edge. Trace it out with a sharpie and cut it out. So the top piece, don't go all the way down, 
That's why I'm cutting these other circles. I'm going to put them around here and build this up. So now I need to find my distance for my center hole. So I'll use this compass and just measure this right here. So the total distance is about four and three quarter. So I'll just divide that in half to get my radius, and then I'll set my compass for my radius, and then I'll use the same center point. I'll use the same center point on that, and I'll just draw that radius around the middle. Here's what I got so far. I got the holes lined up so I can drive a pin through there to lock it in place. I had to stack two half inch plates on top so I can get that level so my 4 by 4 sits on top. So here's where I'm at so far. I got that put in place temporarily. I got a pin through there. I got that welded on. I got my riser cut at a five degree on the bottom. And then I cut out two sides of the square tubing and welded in a plate on the inside to cover the hole. I got some templates drawn out that'll go on the piece of 2 by 3 I'm using for the top bar on the hoist. I got one for each side. This back hole will go into the 4 by 4 tubing. The front one will have the hoist on it. And then for the bottom pin, so I will get all this cut out, and I'll get these pieces welded onto the 2x3, and cut my holes in the parts of the 4x4 four four up here, and get my holes cut in that plate, and kind of fit it together. Try to test it out a little bit before I get everything welded into place. I also got these cut. That will go around that. And I'll weld it to the frame on the tongue there. And then I'll weld it around the 4x4 four four there and across there and get that whole plate welded into the tongue. I got all my pieces cut out. I welded in some pipe inside those holes just to make that hole a little bit cleaner. I cut these all out with the plasma cutter, clean them all up with the grinder. So now this will be the part. I'll put the hook out there on the end. And this will be what hooks into the top piece and then the ram into there. I'm just getting this lined up so my pipe is straight. I'll run that pipe all the way through and weld that in also. 
So once I get all this lined up, I'll clamp it down, get this all welded on. And then I got some pieces that I cut instead of drilling a hole through the 2x3 to mount the hook. I made some little pieces to weld onto the end. And I capped the 2x3 on both sides. So I will get this lined up and welded. I got all the root passes done all the way around. Just skipped around. Did little sections and then flipped it over and until all the root passes were done. Try to even the heat out. Next I'm going to turn it around. I got these G pieces. Looks like a G cut out. That's going to hold the hook. I will get that tacked into place and be right back. Okay, I got all the root passes done on this. You can see how those G-shaped pieces just fit right around there. And then I got the swivel hook. So I welded the two G-pieces together. Got them welded to the two by three. So after I got the boom finished up, I need to work on this riser. I welded some quarter inch plate onto the side just to give it a little more support. Before I did that, I welded some tubing inside the holes, made sure everything lined up. I put the pin in there uh, when I welded on those side plates just so the heat distortion didn't end up pinching those together or something so the boom wouldn't fit in. So I'm going to let this cool a bit and then do some finished welding. Take that pin back out of there and then I'll figure out where I need my uh, bottom brackets for the jack to go in there. I got my bottom tabs put on for that. And I got this welded together to my spindle. Now I got a couple uh, quarter inch plates. I'm going to put on there like that, just overlap that joint, and give it a little bit more strength there at the bend. And then I'll be putting it on the trailer. Alright, I got the riser welded in place. These pieces on the tongue are just angle iron. So I welded in some quarter inch wall thickness channel all the way across there. And that sturdies it up side to side so it don't bend the tongue on the angle. And then I'm going to weld in these two top plates here across the center over to the side. I got a grab bar put on to help spin it. I'm going to have to cut that down a little bit on this right side just so the toolbox will clear it. I did do a 5 degree angle cut so it angles back just a little bit from this section here on up. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll get these top plates welded in. Okay, I got the plates welded in. Mounted a bar to help turn it. Mounted a tube on some tabs for an old axle to store the uh, handle for the jack. I got the boom mounted up. And this will reach pretty much to the bottom edge of the trailer. 
and quite a ways up all the way to the ceiling on the garage that's about it for the hoist everything's pretty much done on it thanks for watching